Dragon Swing Strictly Lindy Finals. Let's do it. <laughs> Jamin here. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos I produce. Big shout out to all of you Patreon and Street Smart Swing members for supporting this channel. And if you want to get access to my personal coaching and my entire swing dance catalog, check out the link in the description below. So, based on this thumbnail, I can tell there will be some really heavy hitters in this competition, plus some fresh new faces that I haven't seen before. Since there are so many familiar dancers I've seen before, I'm going to be judging them a bit more harshly, and I'll tell you exactly what I was looking for right after this.
Yes. Now, my first inclination when judging Strictly competitions that have a lot of the same competitors is to see if dancers can focus on innovation. There's so many dancers who compete and then they go to a different event and compete there and they'll travel abroad across the whole planet just to keep competing. But a lot of times they just regurgitate some of the same material. When I see dancers focus on innovation, it tells me that they like swing dancing more than simply the applause from the audience. And there was really one couple that stood out to me that demonstrated these qualities more than the other couples. But before I talk about that couple, I have to give one quick shout out to Dario and Zuzana. Wow, I really enjoyed their set. There was something special about the tone of their movement that stood out compared to all the other dancers. They felt to me like they were floating on a cloud and for whatever reason, they had this ability to slow their movements down so much that it looked like they were almost off beat but they weren't offbeat, they were swinging really hard. And I think this is such a really interesting style that fits their body types. And I would love to see how they develop this even more so in the future. So big shout out to them, they were great. Now the dancers I felt who generally travel to every competition and was still able to do something fresh in this performance was William and Jessica. When I watched this performance, I felt like they were not rushing their movements up to their special moves. A lot of times people have a lot of ideas, but they seem to put more emphasis on the special move and not the lead up. And they tend to lose the quality of their movements leading up to that flashy move. And William and Jessica didn't do that. They maintained torso control and they also mirrored each other's visual energy when doing the special moves. There wasn't one moment where they were just, you know, competing against each other and, you know, him trying to outdo her and vice versa. They just shined as one body and turned all their competitive energy toward everybody else. That's what I was really hoping to see. And now I feel like I can just go and disappear into the force. So what did you guys think about William and Jessica? Let me know in the comments section below. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to help some of you in my class online. Take care.